Well, since taking over Afghanistan a year ago, the Islamist Taliban has imposed several restrictions on women, including girls being banned from high school. Taking matter in the hands, Afghan women's rights activists this week opened a library in Kabul, hoping to provide an oasis for women increasingly cut off from education and public life under the ruling Taliban. Afghan women's rights activists opened a library in Kabul on Wednesday, hoping to provide an oasis for women increasingly cut off from education and public life under the ruling Taliban. Since taking over Afghanistan a year ago, the Islamist Taliban have said women should not leave the home without a male relative and must cover their faces, though some women in urban centers ignore the rule. Secondary schools for girls largely remain closed after the Taliban went back on promises to open them in March. The books were mostly donated by teachers, poets and authors to the Crystal Bayat Foundation, an Afghan women's rights organization which helped set up the library. Several women activists who have taken part in protests in recent months also helped establish the library in a rented shop in a mall that has a number of stores catering to women. The Taliban say they respect women's rights in accordance with the interpretation of Islamic law and that since March they have been working on a way of opening girls' high schools. Western governments have stepped up their condemnation of the Taliban's widening elimination of women from public life. Many Afghan women have expressed frustration and called for Taliban authorities to respect their rights.